Hi everybody, Kelly here and this is the third time I have tried to film this video. I don't know what is up with my camera but every time I stop recording it says it can't save it. So let's hope this one works. So what you are looking at is actually the back of my project and this is an altered, um, I don't know whether you'd call it a bucket or a pail, um, we'll go with bucket for the sake of um, this video. So when I bought this, this was like a distressed grey type colour and it's actually a like a metal tin bucket. Um, so the first thing I did was I covered it in two coats of gesso, quite a thick gesso to get the white colour that I was after. Then I used some texture paste and a Prima Damask stencil and just put it in random areas throughout the bucket. Then after that I used my Crafters Workshop dot mask and did the same thing, just put it in some random places. Then I got out my texture paint and I added some textured areas to the bucket. So at this point it was all white. So then I got out lots of sprays and paint. So I used some Lindy's Stamp Gang, some Tattered Angels and some Glimmer Mists. If you'd like a list of those colours please private message me and I'll let you know. But I think I used 10 to 15 different colours on this so it will take too long to list them all now. So I sprayed and I dripped and at some stages I actually dipped the paintbrush into the paint and painted it on. So once I had done that and I was happy with the pink and blue looks that I was going for, I got some antique white paint which I dipped my finger in and then rubbed in some of the areas that didn't have a lot of texture just to calm down the white a little bit. Then once I'd done that I covered the whole thing in a spray of just a clear glimmer so that it glimmers um, a bit and then I whitewashed the ent entire thing just to dull down the colours just a little bit to achieve the look that I was going for. Then after that I got out my perfect pearls in white and pink and I added lines of three little dots of pearls vertically and horizontally all over in random places so I'm hoping you can see them dotted around. So I'm just going to hold this and just give you a closer view. So I'm hoping that the camera is picking that all up for you guys. As we all know, the camera never does as much justice as seeing something in person, but you know. Then I added this trim around the top and over the top of that I added these very tiny flat back pearls. Then all the way around the bottom I added this really dainty heart trim, which I just thought was really cute. I used that same trim to make the bows on the handles on both sides. And there we go. And then on the top of the handles I used some pink flat back pearls just to give it something a bit extra to look at. Then if we turn to the front, this chalkboard was already on when I bought it and I just tried to tie that into the rest of the project by using my script mask and I chose the word experiences and then I used some of the perfect pearls in the white and the pink again just to tie everything together. Then for my embellishment class, I started with some Wild Orchid Craft tea roses. So there's this sort of turquoise blue, a pink and a darker blue here. And I, most of the flowers here do actually come from Wild Orchid Craft. Then this wood piece here is a wood piece from Recollections, which I used my Ingvild Baum chalk edges on, first in white then in pale blue and then in turquoise and just smudged it a bit so that I didn't have too much colour but just a hint of colour. Then I have a little light bulb here which Leonie gave me. Thank you Leonie! I have one of the new Wild Orchid Craft bead sprays here. Some hip rosebuds just sort of poking out. Um, I have one of the new um, orchids, that's one of the large orchids, they're really pretty. There's another bead spray in the pink down here, which I actually got from my local um, craft shop. This heart is a Wendy Vici heart, which I painted white and then textured over the top of. Um, there is a fabric flower here, which just came from my stash. Then there's this metal heart, which I added a bead to the middle of. Then there is another of these wooden um, recollections leaves down here. There's this pearl spray which I got from Craft Supplies 1. 
there is this absolutely gorgeous button here which I believe I got from Sarah thank you Sarah and if it wasn't Sarah then it was Pat so if it wasn't you Sarah apologies and thank you Pat then I added this trim down here which actually came off a large doily and I just sprayed a little bit with one of the pink Lindy's just to make it match and I really like how that came out oh sorry if you can hear that that's my daughter but my other daughter's gone to sort her out so yeah so there we go so the idea of the blue and pink colour scheme here was that I had someone in mind when I made this and I am waiting for that person to get back to me so I'll leave it at that but I did distress all the flowers with um, some texture paint just to dull them all down and stop them from being so bright. So I hope you like it, guys. If you have any questions, um, either let me know below or send me a personal message. And I hope you're all having a fabulous weekend. Bye.